What's up guys, it's Trevor Hogg and welcome to Beyond Transmission, a place for spiritual and personal growth where we travel the world together and explore topics from philosophy to theology and beyond. If you like this video, please subscribe and feel free to leave any questions or comments below in regards to this topic. Today we are in beautiful Hawaii and I wanted to talk today about taking control again of our lives by being a master of our daily routines. So. What I'm gonna share with you guys is an insight that has absolutely given me my life back and a few specific, simple things that you can do to feel powerful, confident, and complete once again. First off, understand that the first thoughts that you have when you wake up and the final thoughts that you have before you sleep will determine your life, period. These brief moments are gold and we really need to protect them with our life. So ask yourself, what is the first thing that I do and the last thing that I do every single day? What is my mind thinking about? For most people, they're waking up in an instantly reactive state. And this is no thanks to smartphones and TV. Uh, most of us actually use our phones as alarm clocks. So when we roll over the morning to shut it off, we automatically see text messages, emails, news, missed calls, what have you. And it instantly puts us in this like fearful, anxious, or defensive state of mind. This is not the way to have control of your life. It's simple really, either you take control of your life or somebody else will. So something that you can do to take the control back if you uh, do want to use your smartphone as like an alarm in the morning or maybe for some emergency calls is to put your phone in airplane mode or at very least do not disturb and commit to not looking at your phone or the TV for that matter for the first hour that you are awake. This hour, should be for you. And if you feel like you don't have an extra hour to spare, then it's time to really prioritize your life to take that back because this is yours. And you'll notice that the most successful individuals on the planet, as busy as they are, they respect this time and have a solid routine. Now, during this, this one hour, you need to be very strategic with what you allow to enter your mind. So during this hour, you get to choose your state, not just your state of mind, but what your state of being is going to be that day. What I do is I begin with a full glass of water with a little bit of lemon, 20 minutes uh, of meditation. From there, I take another 20 minutes to either work out or do some yoga. And then the, 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 the last 20 minutes, I jot down goals of the day, making you know, a simple list, dividing up what I need to do, what I should do, and what I'd like to do. But from there, um, it's really up to you, but I typically you know, turn my phone on at that point as I'm grabbing some breakfast and getting ready for the day. Um, again, that's my routine, but what's most important is that you're focusing on getting your mind in a proactive and positive state before you allow the stresses of the world to hit you immediately. Now your routine before you go to bed is just as important, if not more important, because your life really is made up of what you think about the most. And what's happening during those eight or so hours while you are asleep is what your subconscious is left with after you fed it uh, right before you fell asleep. So if you're laying there right before you go to bed and you're, you're, you have all this anxiety thinking about everything that went wrong with your day or all the crap that you gotta deal with tomorrow, the things you gotta get done, then I hate to break it to you, but you're gonna wake up to the same crap and repeat it all over again in this endless cycle. And your mind will absolutely create whatever you feed into it. So those last 30 minutes or so before you sleep is, like I said, just as important, if not more important, to protect than in the morning. My nightly routine is fairly simple. Again, I meditate for about 20 minutes and then I decide to write in my gratitude journal. I know that sounds a little cheesy uh, if you've never done it before, but Going to sleep with this feeling of gratitude is one of the most powerful emotions that you can evoke to attract even more of what you want to be grateful for in your life. The more you focus on gratitude, the more you will overflow with it because more and more things to be grateful for will appear in your life. Um, try it and see for yourself. I'm gonna be talking about this stuff a lot more in detail uh, in my video about how to attract what you want but the most important thing here is to create a morning and a night routine uh, that works for you, that gets your mind in a state of love instead of fear, gratitude instead of anxiety. And as you take this control back, just watch how your life will change. 
Anyway, I hope this is of some help to you. Thanks again for watching. Stay curious, and we'll see you next time.